Have you ever wondered what it was like for Dory and Marlon when they were in Nigel of Pelican's beak in Finding Nemo? That's what we're going to figure out today. I'm Emily Casciano, and this is another episode of Dissecting with Emily. So today we are going to actually look at a brown pelican. We actually have the physical body right here, and we have the CT scan data of the specimen as well. And so we received this um, bird from Florida in a rehabilitation center, and if you look at the CT scan data, it actually has a broken wing, and it was not able to fully heal, and so they had to euthanize the bird, which is how we ended up receiving the specimen. And so when you look at pelicans, they're actually known for two things. They, actually, they have a really long beak. They have um, the longest beak of any bird. And they also have this gular pouch underneath that they use to catch uh, their prey. And as a preview, as for what I'm going to talk about in this video, you can kind of see they have a little baby vestigular tongue right here and two little bones that go back. And they also have this little slit, which is the glottis, which leads back into the larynx and the trachea along with the esophagus. And so if we actually look over at the physical body over here, you can see that it has a very flexible mandle if you open up the mouth. It can go from a very narrow shape to actually a very wide distended shape, and this uh, is what helps them to catch their fish. And another adaptation they have to help catch their fish is that their pouch is actually very stretchy and strong. It can actually fit just about my whole hand in there. It can fit about three and a half gallons of fluid, and it actually it, it can take my hand moving in there pretty easily, and this is because when they uh, catch their prey, they're actually catching live fish from the water and scooping them into their bill. So their bill has, their pouch actually has to take the pressures of a live fish thrashing around in there. And another adaptation that they have, which is pretty cool, if we turn on this light, you can actually see how stretchy their uh, pouch is, first of all. It gets very wide. Uh, but they also have this really cool cooling mechanism with all of these blood vessels in here that run along the pouch. And they also do this thing called gular fluttering, which is where they shake their pouch back and forth. That also helps keep them cool. And so now we're going to take a peek at the structures inside the mouth that I had referenced before. So you can see right here, this is the little vestigial tongue that they have with the two little V-shaped bones right here. And a little further back, the slit is the glottis with the larynx, and further back is the trachea. And way in the back is a large opening, and that is actually the esophagus. And so now you know what it was like for Dory and Marlin inside Nigel Pelican's beak. I'm Emily Casciano, and that's all for today.